Let's take a look at how this works. Step 1. The bomb deployment platform, as previously mentioned, a B-2 stealth bomber flies in a very high altitude. When the aircraft reaches the designated location and the conditions are optimal, it releases the weapon. The bomb is designed for precision, and the deployment height plays a crucial role in its trajectory and effectiveness. Then step 2 comes the targeting precision. The bomb is outfitted with advanced guidance technology, including GPS and inertial navigation systems, which are military-grade satellites. Then comes step 3, that is adjusting the trajectory. The guidance information and data is then transmitted to the bomb's four lattice motors fins located at the rear. These fins can move and adjust in real time, allowing the bomb to correct its course as it descends under the force of gravity. These adjustments are essential because the weapon does not have thrusters to change its trajectory. Instead, it relies on the movement of these fins and a high altitude drop to control its flight path. This is why the bomb must be deployed from a very high altitude so it has enough time and distance to adjust its trajectory accurately. Here comes the most difficult part that is step 4, impact and penetration. The bomb, known as the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, weighs approximately 30,000 pounds, which is around 14,000 kilograms. When it reaches its target, it strikes with immense force designed to penetrate deep into hardened structures, such as bunkers. The energy upon impact allows the bomb to bury itself over 200 feet into reinforced concrete, ensuring it delivers its payload precisely where it is intended for maximum effect.